Let's see. Oh, he was scarfed. All this time, he was scarfed. Well, well. All right, what is up, guys? As always, welcome back to the Wi Fi Battle versus James. And of course, we're doing the regular OU code at 2022, 2021, and hopefully. We aren't destroyed by the standards of OU. But we are definitely facing it. Fuck. I like. I know what I'm getting into, yet I still always feel. Huh? <laughs> because they're so intimidating. Um, what I do like, at least, are that I think. Rathgail can be a really solid lead thanks to Knockoff alone. Uh, it might be on the obvious side, but really, like, knockoff go and disrupt a few of these guys naturally, so... I think we're gonna go with that. I'm, I don't like leading off with my first picked Mon, but at the same time... I, I just, I have the option of really disrupting teams. It starts with Stommy, which is great. Uh, find it very unlikely Scarfed. It could be um, a really niche set with maybe something scary as a Sash, but let's find out. I wanna see it knock? Oh look, he's too soon! Oh, was he sashed? No! <laughs> ah, that's unfortunate. I, I'm pretty sure we take this psychic though, right? Yeah, because why aren't you analytic? So, all right, he clearly sacks this mon. Um, he should have no priority, and that should allow me to get my um my hazards. I was gonna say, but stealth rock should definitely be able to stay. And sacking Stommy is, um, with all in sense and purposes, the right thing to do. Um, thing is, though, like, I am not in a good position in theory because I died to my own type of hazard against me, so. Yeah, meanwhile, is um, a really scary mon, isn't it? Uh, we don't deal with you at all. Nice shard should be neutral. He shouldn't be able to do anything towards Sparax anyway, so that's the play. Shouldn't be worried about, like, Ice Shard is ideal. But, like, the Throat Shock would be smart. Fake Out would be unfortunate for him. I really want a Dark move. So, Alright, here's Life Orb. Um, I don't think it's too dumb go for close combat. It's Choice Bandit after all, I kind of feel... Whatever he decides to stay in is going to be forced to take a lot of damage. The only mod I see take it well is the Latios, which aren't necessarily all that defensive. He's thinking though, definitely didn't enjoy that. I want to see Scissor. Glisco, that's a Pokemon I totally forgot about. Hopefully I still do something, right? Mm, mm, not really, no. <laughs> I didn't forget about it, but I kind of forgot about it. So, alright, my play here is absolutely going into Rider. No, we can actually take a round of rock. So, Erexia. Why was I thinking I had one HP left? Shouldn't be worried at all. And this matchup should force it out for the time being. And consider the matchup. Should be able to set up my own rocks. He might be carrying knockoff. No u turns, that's fair. Shouldn't knock me into range anyway. However, if I want to use my Moltres, it is in my interest of keeping um, the rocks off the field, that's for sure. I actually realized I didn't specify. Ah, it's gonna be annoying. I didn't specify my HP on my Moltres, which means I could actually get myself in a rough position on the switch-in. Which I won't be, but that's something to keep in mind. Um, I still think I can switch it in. Even if his sword stances, I think I'm fine. And if he bullet punches, he always risk of getting himself burned, which is something I initially think would be nice. <laughs> Alright, let's find out. Exisa, four times resisted. Yeah, we need a flame body. Ah, I 
would have been nice. So his best play should probably be to switch out anyway. Half expecting Latios. Let's go. I mean, that depends. It really does. Like, Earthquake... U-turn. I'm... I'm having, having a hard time thinking... He could be packing stone and so. I just like the idea of hurting him. Yeah, we're gonna do that. U-turns again, alright. So it's a speedy Glisco, that's for sure, because I am max speed and I am not. Like, he's he preserving his 95 base speed, that's for sure. <sighs> Though he's still a bit uneven on what he want to bring in versus that, which I like. Oh! That, that's my sound of, uh, that's not a switch in. How much will I do? Do I even kill it? No, but I would be lying if I didn't do a lot of damage. So, he could be packing Thunderbolt. That I know of. Or it would be no reason switching that in. It's either that or it's the Doom Desire with U-turn. Right now he's chipping himself a lot. And yes, I want the Thunderbolt. I really do. Yes, Kresnik! It all comes together. And now I flamethrower. And now I have a very nasty speed boost behind me. So he's got to make up his mind, but that's a sack plate, that's for sure. Oh, I don't do nearly enough. <laughs> U-turns, that's fair. So depending on what he brought, decides to bring in, like if Glisco comes in, I ice punch. If Lodios comes in, I ice punch. Because right now I have an honest chance of actually doing some proper chipping on it. And I like the proper chipping. And I really can't think more that he can't make up his mind on what he wants to bring in. Because if I were him, I'd be damn worried. Oh, he brings in Miwa. Probably for an eye shot. Possibly. Because I do outspeed. Yeah, go for a crush up. Fake out, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Totally forgot about that. <sighs> I don't want to keep this guy alive, don't I? Right. Hoping for a dark move. I'm gonna lock myself into meteor mash this time. Ah, I didn't wanna um, waste it like that, but that's fair. Dark move, dark move, dark move, dark move, dark move. I shot, of course. Alright. This time it's meter match time. Just decide with draw, it works for me. Bringing in Glisco. I mean, Choice Banded should still sting. Meter match will do. Oh. <laughs> Just that I can't outspeed it. And that sucks. If he quakes, then so be it, I think. I'm gonna send in Chris Nick. I really don't want to waste Lictavar like this, but at the same time, his best play, if he decides to roost, he would lose in theory to Glisco. Right? Right? Yeah, he gotta do it. Like, it's not the worst play in the world at all, it's just... If you ever were pressured, that's probably the play you had to make. I feel. And it's still, it's recovering quite a lot. More than I wanna, um, like, get into. I feel that guy wins the matchup. There's really nothing I can do. Or there are a few things I can do, but I probably won't be able to accomplish the matchup with this in mind. 
so yeah liquidation is solid even if Hiroshi is the sack play I have 17 though so next time I switch into rocks I could be able to survive it that's something to keep in mind because I do force Liskor out which is well, really all I really wanted <laughs> here comes the Hiroshi it dies to the rocks He's gonna see what I lock myself into, and thanks to him getting defeated anyway, um, let's just say that um, going for rapid spin would have been the wrong move. Meanwhile comes back with all the fake out shenanigans, and it is heavily dying right now. And since I don't die to rocks, I really shouldn't be too worried. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. I so badly want to see you go for a dark move, but hell, I'll take it. Let's see, fake out, nothing to it. Next time he'll clearly die to the rocks itself. He has no intention of defogging, I'm sure, so I'm just gonna go for extreme speed, take him out. Which really doesn't necessarily help me at all, but Hell, I avoided Ice Shard chipping. So, I, I'm, I'm clearly not in a position of winning this matchup, but I absolutely think I held on kind of great here. There are a few turns left, but right now I feel I am in an environment where a lot of sex plays will be made. And this was never a switching. Right? Is he baiting me? I'll happily take that challenge. I mean, Extreme Speed is going to do a whole lot. Yeah, yeah, that, that's um, no idea what he was thinking there, but yeah, of course Psychic kills, but huh. Like, don't get me wrong here, I just not sure what that was. Uh, Arexi should be able to take a hit. Raphael would just be nice. I'm gonna do this play. It, it could be Scarfed, and if so, so be it, I think. And if not, then this knockout's gonna do great. Let's see. Oh, he was Scarfed. All this time, he was Scarfed! Well, well. <clears throat> Unfortunate, but it only means that this switching remain my my switching, right? I'm gonna pop my citrus, and I guess again I'm gonna make a call here. But I mean, his best play is bringing in scissor or sacking. I think. Yeah. Keeping Lottie at bay is going to be annoying. Freeze him! <laughs> so right, here comes the rough part. Um, because I can't send in Wrathgale. Because he's going to U-turn this time. So this is the play. Which sucks. A lot, really. Alright. Let's stay focused instead. Like I said, he's going to U-turn. There will be really nothing to it. Metal Claw. Um, oh. Oh, that's Technician Boosted. That's for sure. Huh. Right, we are... Outrage on his bullet punch, no? Yeah. Like, I could quake here, but really I just want to free switch in with... I want to see what he does. Well, yeah, he keeps going for it. Could he just be banded and just be really, really, really offensive? No, he is clearly left always. Okay. Let's 
like in theory I think I'm free to flamethrower no matter what here and if Latios comes in hopefully it dies to the rocks his best place should really be to sack the scissor and just wrap up with uh... no 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 his best place should be going into Latios barring the scissor and I think maybe I can beat the Glisco. Probably not, however. <sighs> that was a cool endgame matchup. I really like thinking about it. He should lock himself into Draco, but Psychic is very safe. Or Ice Beam, really. Uh, I'm gonna try to roost off whatever he tries to do here. Draco, great! So he's lower his special attack, which helps. For the wrap up, that is. But Draco is still gonna do a whole lot. It is whether or not the U turn later kills me, which I think it does. So it's gonna come down through wire. Hell, like I said, like in the game, it's going to get close enough for me of actually thinking I did a quite a quite good job anyway. But yeah, like I said, the U turn. I prink, prink. I think I manage the Draco. Um, but I just don't think I managed to U-turn the follows. I should have been defensive. I mean, oh, if he was really smart, he would have switched in his Glisco here to really preserve his uh, potential damage output. But I... <laughs> ah, I barely want to see this wrap up. It would be really nice if Mesprit just made his work. Oh. Foo, 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 foo. I don't want to watch this. Can I take a U-turn? Can I do it? Can I do it? Come on, Miss Brute! No! It's alright. Like I said, it came down to the wire, and quite frankly, I'm, I'm really glad with my my performance here. I really am. Um, looking back at it, probably should have switched Moltres first time instead of second Cabotops. That's for sure, Miss Brute first. But yeah, I'm, 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 how, I'm really happy. Uh, for everyone watching, as always, thank you for doing so. I hope you enjoyed this game, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, everyone, alright? Bye. And well done.